Peace. Hello. Today, and welcome to my review of the, I believe it's an AP94 Anti-Projectile 1995 Bulletproof Vest. Now, the AP-95 was first issued in 1995 by the Italian Armed Forces, uh, I believe for the Italian Army, of the uh, typical Italian Army camo pattern. Now, what I ordered was a uh, AP-98, or the picture on Sportsman's Guide was of an AP-98. Um... Paid about two twenty five for it. It's listed as an Italian surplus plate carrier with ceramic plates. Now it does come with uh, plates. They're not ceramic, and they didn't send me the uh, pictured AP ninety eight. But I did get this, which is interesting. And there's no documentation on it on the internet, so I thought I'd be the first and I'd give some kind of history on this thing so it doesn't fade in complete obscurity. Though it should, because it's kind of a piece of shit. Um, so, there's also a really weird little surprise that came with this vest that I'll show you guys. Um, so, stick with it. Basically, it's a um, the first of Italy's modular uh, armor systems. So, um, before this, Italy used a purely flat jacket. Now, this is... Uh, a flak jacket in addition to a plate carrier. Um, the idea that Italy had at the time was to be able to build a, um, a vest sort of that you could you could armor up as as the threat level increased. So you could have it as a flak jacket, it's a little bit lighter. You could put some 3A armor in there, you could put some level 3 armor in there, and it'll protect you depending on how uh, gnarly the situation is getting. Um, so this did come with plates, and uh, it can hold a um, couple AR mags in the front pouch here. It attaches by a, a buckle in the front and a whew, big boy strap there. Uh, I'm not sure what the position is. I believe it goes inside here, so you're sitting in there with it. And then the uh, the buckle strap goes over on the outside. You could probably hook some kind of equipment to it. Looks about the right size to be able to put some kind of um, ammo pouch or something. Comes with uh, Kevlar plates. These Kevlar plates on the inside. Eighty-three. Yeah, so I don't know what the deal is because um, with most of the known documentation, this style of vest was uh, from the '95s. Although all the AP '95 documentation I found has a full collar, and this one only has these little pedals. So I don't know if it's an earlier version, but it's closest to any documentation I found of an AP-95. This looks like it's um, not a, uh, yes, yeah, there you go. I don't think it's ceramic at all. It's definitely like some kind of Kevlar weave. It's probably like 3A rated for pistols or something because it's really thin. Um, I don't know. I don't know enough about ballistics and I can't really test it right now um, unless I want to get evicted. Comes with some accoutrements as well. Another one of these little plates that was just kind of stuffed in here into this uh, front pouch, but it was kind of sitting low, so it doesn't really protect your uh, your whole front there when it was sitting like that. How they kind of just haphazardly threw it in. So I don't know if this is supposed to um, be part of this kit because there's other things that lead me to question it isn't. Mainly, it doesn't attach anywhere. So this fits in like a glove in here, 
but that doesn't fit anywhere. It just kind of shovels around, which is not right. And then they also sent me this. This is from an AP-98. This is an AP-98 um, sort of pelvic protector, your, uh, your, your, your cop guard. And um, there's some D-rings on an AP-98, about right here. One D-ring, one D-ring. And then these are supposed to loop into the D-rings. And then just kind of flap there and protect you. Um, this doesn't have that, so they fucked up. Uh, Sportsman sent me some random shit. So... I wanted that, but I wanted the vest that came with it too. So I got this instead. There's a bottom little attachment point here. So I think it's for the actual crotch guard. I don't know what this little attachment flap does. There's nothing you can put in there, but I did find that this plate does kind of attach there, but um, kind of the geometry doesn't work too well with how your legs are supposed to shape. So I don't think, I think this is a chest plate, but I'm not sure where it's supposed to go. But you can attach it down at the bottom here to this useless strap. Now, moving up. The actual jacket is a um, sort of flak jacket material. So I think as its base vest, there is a uh, nice padded layer of Kevlar that should probably stop uh, up to 3A-ish, maybe like level 2. It's mostly made for flak. You can uh, put some plates in here, though it's rather big, so uh, like a five by t like a ten by twelve would just float in there, just be swimming. And then there's an also an additional little pouch in here. I'm not sure what you could put in there. Maybe some kind of like trauma flag. Going up, there is some harder feeling Kevlar feels like Kevlar 3A, but it's still kind of soft. So you do get some side flak protection on this vest, which is nice. Nice, big, soft, fluffy flak pad right in there. And then some harder weave right there. You can, again, also access the internal part here for some kind of trauma pad. And you can get the, uh, it's like a 3A a 3A coverall vest on the inside underneath that you can get out. But I'm not gonna, for the sake of this video, I'm not gonna take out this whole thing. You get the idea. It's an underside. Uh, it's like an underneath uh, pad of uh, 3A flak. Possibly 3A. I've seen a lot of flak jackets be shot by pistols and uh, up to basically toke rev ammo. They'll stop your common 9mm and 45s as far as I've seen. So I don't know if the uh, flak plus the additional little uh, fucking armor plate does what it needs to. But um, I haven't seen these tested. And I bought the, uh, the other one because another YouTuber did shoot AP-98 plates. They are listed as U.S. Municipal Surplus Plates on um, Sportsman's Guide. And those those should be able to stop up to um, definitely 5.56. Five, and there's some rumors it stops to, um, like 7.62 by 51, like NATO. So, weird part of this whole vest is uh, something that's been drawn on it by a previous owner, perhaps, though I'm not sure. Maybe there's some kind of story to it. It definitely is. It's kind of interesting, though. So... If I'm to take off the uh, back plate like I did the front here, open it. Something strange, I noticed. Pull it out. You get your itsy bitsy flimsy Kevlar weave. Hmm, what the fuck? Someone drew me something really weird. So, this is all like uh, some Italian children's drawing from the 80s. And uh, I think I've already contaminated it by looking at it a couple times. Smudging it. Oh dear. Uh, so there's some dates there. 83. It's really old. It says uh, agricultural at the bottom. Al Azi. You know, it might just be children's writing and it's not spelt right. I can't read it. The woman feeding the birds there. 
a little card down at there at the bottom. Uh, very interesting. Um, I should hope a soldier didn't draw this because it's very, uh, well, I suppose they do have good artistic ability then. So, if uh, the Kevlar won't keep you safe, maybe the kind thoughts will. So you got the Kevlar pads protecting you, in addition to this wraparound 3A. That's pretty nice. But maybe if I finesse uh, Sportsman, I can uh, I can shoot this fucking thing with some 223 and see if it'll stop a bullet. And then I'll buy some more. <laughs> All right, now I'll try it on. Show you the full kit. Okay, and this is uh, what it's like to sort of wear the best. Um, I don't have the actual army plates in here, just the 3A. And just the 3A on its own, not so bad. Um, kind of comfortable, would be kind of fun for like uh, airsoft or something. I suppose I'd use it for that. So, this, this restricted range of movement. And the actual nature of how you put on the vest, what you're supposed to do, I believe, is leave this sort of all locked in place. So you don't have to fuck with the straps anymore if you first do. You tighten it all in. And then the, I think the idea was to be able to just undo the top part and then just take it off like that. But um, sort of in practice, that doesn't look too good. Because you have a helmet and potentially a gas mask on, a bunch of other bullshit too, and you won't be able to do that. Because um, it'll get in the fucking way. So you gotta keep messing with the goddamn straps here and stuff. Mm, I don't really like it. Now, the later AP 98s, and then fuck, even the AP, uh, what, like 96 or whatever that came right after this one, the 95A, they fixed all that shit. And they immediately went away from this sort of a set fit and then undo sort of the shoulder thing. And they ended up going with uh, a more just side strap where you just do this and you do the side. And then you leave this side tightened and that. And it's a lot better because you just come in and out the side and sort of over the top like a hoodie. You're supposed to sort of put this thing on and take this thing off like you do a hoodie. Uh, in practice, it's a pain in the ass. You can see. And then this to kind of just hold the strap in. And then uh, this keeps you uh, safe from any bullets flying up from uh, being deflected. It's pretty low waist up here. Belt buckle right here. So even on a big boy, it doesn't fit too bad. The biggest problem with this vest is going to be that once you get the armor plates in there, you can't really aim because the armor plate gets in the way of you moving your arms. So that's a huge bummer. You don't really want to be able to, uh, you won't be able to shoulder your rifle or aim straight. Let me show you. Now I got the uh, hard armor plates in on the front and the back. It feels sturdy, it feels tough. But you can't, you know, your fucking Roblox character, I can't move my arms past this because my shoulders immediately come into contact with the plate. It doesn't have a shooter's cut. Um, you know, it's fine if you're being some kind of, I don't know, fucking journalist or some shit with it on and not needing to aim. But having to aim, you can't. Even like that, cuts into your neck. Um... It just doesn't, it's a square fucking plate, it's not a shooter's cut, and uh, you're going to probably want a shooter's cut for any of that kind of stuff. Um, I don't really like it. No. So, you can kind of see, to get a good aim, 
I have to kind of put my rifle like on the plate, but there's nowhere for it to fit, you know? So I can't get it on sight. It, it's sort of a clusterfuck. And this whole kind of uh, plate really wasn't designed or thought out that well at all. You kind of have to put it on the front there, sort of aim like fucking a bean guy. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it's interesting, it's cool, and there's zero documentation on this actual plate carrier system. So I thought I'd upload something. Uh, so what I want it for, which is just kind of going to the range and carrying shit, and then being a little bit safer. I don't think it works. It's super bulky, and uh, I don't think it provides rifle protection. So it's kind of all downsides. Uh, it might have been good for the 80s and for a few laps, and it's kind of cool looking, but uh, otherwise, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah.